Hey again, it's Christina from Sunshine and Flora. So today I'm doing some seed starting, but it is a little different than the normal seed starting. Normally you see me doing seed starting for all of my cut flowers that I sell for market bouquets and special orders. Today I am starting seeds for a bunch of planter boxes. So I've done this the past few years and it's a really great way to save a little bit of money. Um, I have at the front of my business, I have two window boxes that total span 20 feet. Plus I have a lot of planters and you know, buying that many plants can really add up and I do like it to be cohesive and sometimes finding that large quantity of the plants that are all the same can be a little bit tricky too. So the past couple years, what I have done is I've been starting a lot of these from seed and it has gone really well. And so that is what I wanted to share with you today. So I have three different varieties I'm starting today. Uh, the first one is an Easy Wave Petunia. I have four or five colors of those I'm starting, the main one being white. I have started these the past three years and they do absolutely wonderfully for me. Uh, I'm also gonna be starting some coleus today and then for the first time ever, I'm gonna start some begonias. Uh, I have never grown begonias from seed before, but I uh, purchased some at a garden center last year and used them out in my window boxes. They did amazing. Um, so I'm gonna try and start those from seed as well. But the first thing I wanna show you is how I start my petunias from seed. Now for all of these seeds, I am going to be using these 24 cell seed trays. These are from Gardener Supply. These are their Grow E seed starting trays. These are the ones uh, that you can add the little platform under with the wicking mat and so they are self watering. I don't tend to use them that way, but I really just like the size of the trays. So I'm going to be using four of these. Uh, one whole tray is going to be just the Easy Wave white petunias. Another one is going to be petunias. Um, I think part of one is going to be coleus, and then part of this plus another one is going to be the begonias. Uh, now I do have one more variety of coleus coming, which is the chocolate mint. So I will be starting that as well. But first off, the petunias. So the Easy Wave White, I get these from Harris Seeds. They come in a pack of 25. These are this year's seeds. The rest of my petunias are last year's seeds. And I think these are all pelleted, which if you're familiar with pelleted seeds, they're a lot easier to plant, but the shelf life goes down. So I'm probably gonna be sowing multiple seeds per cell of these. These, I'm doing one seed per cell, except I'll do two in one of the cells in these because um, this is a 24 cell tray. So let's just go ahead and get started with the petunias. So when I start seeds, I always wanna read the culture on the seed starting packet, which is basically the uh, directions on how to grow from seed and then on from there. Um, this one says to cover lightly with vermiculite and then use a humidity dome um, until the seed germinates. So I do not have to co cover this with soil because it does require light to germinate. These are gonna go so fast. Um, I also have all of my tags already made out. So I'm gonna go ahead and place that in here. Otherwise, I might get these trays mixed up. Pelleted seeds a lot of time will come in little vials and the seeds themselves either look white or yellow. These are white. And pelleted seeds, like I said, are so easy to plant. Actually, no, these are yellow. I just couldn't see that. But pelleted seeds are so easy to plant because um, they're so much bigger, you can see them. Now, when I rest seeds on top of the soil, I just kind of like to go along with my finger and just make sure I have a nice flat spot. And then it's just as easy as dropping one seed right on top of the soil. Now I accidentally dropped two there, I'm gonna have to move those. When I do two seeds per cell um, for petunias, I like to put them kitty corner in the corners just so they live, have a little more space to grow. And these are going to go under my grow lights. I'm gonna turn the lights on right away because it did say they need light to germinate. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them on a heat mat as well so they have a nice warm temperature to germinate. Now the last couple years, I have started my petunias in these exact seed trays. And once they get a certain size, I transplant them up into a four inch pot, which is the size of pot that you buy your petunias in from the garden center. And then they remain under my grow lights and grow on from there. And then once the weather starts to get nice outside, 
I transport them out to my greenhouse where they can harden off and grow on. And I'm telling you, these get nice and big, just like the ones I buy at the garden center. It is awesome. And it looks like I did get one extra seed, which means, yay, one extra plant. Now I gotta go in, and the one where I dropped two seeds per cell, I just gotta separate them. Cause I don't wanna grow them right next to each other. There we go. All right, so this tray's done. See how fast that went? I'm gonna use my mister. And I'm just gonna mist them in lightly to settle the seed on top of the soil. This also will start breaking down that pelleted coating. And then this is what the humidity dome looks like for these specific trays. These have been used a few times, so they're a little bit cloudy, but this is what's gonna go on my grow shelf. And these should start germinating, what does it say? Seven to 12 days. I usually see them pretty quick because I have them on a heat mat. Um, soil temperature for Petunia says 72 to 76 degrees, which tells me I definitely wanna use a heat mat. Um, I have some other seeds that require over 60 degrees. Room temperature is fine for those. I don't use a heat mat, but when they have temperatures up in the 70s, I always put them on a heat mat. All right, one tray of petunias done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other tray of petunias. And I'm gonna try and get all four of these colors in here. I have more white, I have blue, yellow, and purple. And I'm gonna do multiple seeds per cell because again, these are a year old and they're pelleted. And then we'll move on to the begonias and the coleus. All right, moving right along. This might be the fastest seed starting that I do all season. So I have the begonias left and I have the jade coleus left. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna do the begonias last cause I don't know how to do those. Um, here is the jade coleus. This is coleus wizard jade is actually what it says. Soil temperature also 72 to 75 degrees. So these will go on a heat mat. Um, light required to germinate. Do not cover seed. It says prevent damping off with a post transplant fungicide drench. I did not do that last year and these were just fine. So I'll probably just do the same thing this year. All right, how many seeds do I have left? Oh, about a million. This was a pack of 500. The begonias is also a pack of 500, which is really nice when you get these big packets and they're not pelleted. They last for multiple years. So I will probably go ahead and do two seeds per cell. So I'm just gonna go through and kind of flatten my cells again. Again, this goes so fast when all you do is drop the seed right on top. I just did a uh, Fama white and Fama blue pincushion flowers yesterday in soil blocks. And that was super fast because I just stuck one seed in the middle of each soil block right on top. That was also really quick. And coleus seeds are really small, uh, probably about like snapdragons. So I definitely am going to do multiple seeds per cell because when dropping them on, you can't really see them. So I'm just gonna kinda, I kinda can see them. I might just kinda dust them around. This is probably wasting seed. I'm trying to grab like two or three out of my hand and then just dropping them in. These are black and you would never ever see them on the top of the soil. Put these back in and still enough for probably like three more years. <laughs> okay, I am gonna lightly mist these in. This mister I just got off Amazon. It works so nice. A lot of the tools that I use, I have linked down below in the description in my Amazon link. Um, I used to use just a regular hand mister. This is so much easier. All right, so one more tray. I have the Begonia Ambassador White. These are the ones, uh, white flowers, green leaves, and soil temperature 72 to 77 degrees. So I will be putting these on a heat mat as well and it says light is required to germinate. So do not cover seed. 
Oh my gosh, could these be any easier to sew? Again, I have never grown begonias from seed before, but my window box area, it faces west, but I have an overhang, so it's shaded most of the day, but at the end of the day, it gets really hot sun, and so I kind of have trouble um, finding things that work good there. I've tried petunias, and it doesn't get, get enough sun. Um, I have tried impatience. I've tried salvia. Uh, last year I tried the begonias and they worked really well. And coleus that contains, can take sun and shade also worked very well. So that's what I'm doing this year, begonias and coleus. And then the petunias will go in the other planters that do get more sun. All right, looks like these are all pelleted. So... I'm gonna do, you know what? I was only gonna do a partial tray of coleus, wasn't I? Whoops. I guess I have a full tray of coleus. <laughs> oh well. So I'm gonna do two seeds per cell on these because I really think I'm gonna need that many. Also, uh, how I mentioned how I pot these up, these are not going to be staying in these trays the whole growing season. So if I do two seeds per cell, that is fine. These, once they get a decent size, they still will separate really nicely. I will be putting these in the four inch pots and I may end up doing another tray. If I can get this open, I may end up doing a whole another tray of begonias when that other coleus comes. Um, I kind of need to see what the spacing is for planting on these. What is the spacing? Plant spread 10 to 12 inches. So if I get 48 plants, okay, that should be plenty. I probably don't have to do another tray. But either way, I'm gonna do two seeds per cell. And that's banking on if I get 100% germination. I will say last year, I think my petunias, I got close to 100% germination. It was amazing. The next video that you guys will see after this one, uh, I have a vlog in the works of just doing random projects. I've been cleaning out the hoop house and getting it ready to plant. And then I also have a lot of different seeds started on my grow shelves that I haven't shown you guys. And so I'm kind of going through all of those as well. And we had the first um, foundation cement pour over at the building that we have purchased for retail space. So I'm going to take you guys down there. I need to film that part of it yet, but I'm going to take you guys down there and show you that update as well. We're really going to start moving on the renovations now, and I'm so excited. Uh, we think that we may be able to save the original hardwood flooring, which is super exciting. We'll know tomorrow when my husband is finished tearing it all out, um, but that would be amazing. Just trying to get these back in here without dropping them everywhere. All right, there we go. Pop these back in and use these next year. Even though they're pelleted, I'll just seed heavier next year. All right, all of my bedding plants done. This feels really good to have done. I can't wait to start seeing these germinate. So these actually are gonna go home to my house because my grow shelves here are full of seeds and ranunculus and anemones. So these are gonna go home, um, but I will put them under the grow lights on the heat mats and uh, keep you posted in some update videos. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I am starting for my window boxes and planters this year from seed and how to start all of those seeds. I will make sure to keep you updated and I hope you guys are having a good February and a good seed starting season so far. Stay tuned for a lot more gardening. I have a lot planned for this year, so I'll be making sure to keep you updated on everything. We'll see you soon.